Surface Prep. Today we're going to be talking about the inner workings of the 320 CPS. A uh, couple things you need to remember. Uh, always keep maintenance items on your shelf. If you don't have them, we have them here. Plus we have a whole array of CPS parts on the website. Just go to the website. First thing you need to do is always keep belts on store. Upper and lower belts, those are the main things that wear out the most. Other things you need to pay attention to are the bearings and seals. Oftentimes people don't want to take the time to change the bearings and the seals. They'll just find one bad and replace it. Unfortunately, eventually it won't be long before the rest of the bearings are going. So we stock all the bearings, all the seals you need. One of the new things they've done is for the tensioner pulley, they actually have an upgrade kit. This strengthens the tensioner pulley to where it doesn't take the brunt of the force. Whenever you hit things with the grinding heads, they had a tendency to bend this lower plate as it gets age on it. What they've done is they've made a tensioning bracket to support that at the top of it. Be sure and upgrade every time you have your turntable part, upgrade it. We also have spindles. You can buy the whole spindle assembly as a unit, but you can also build it yourself. Put in bearings, the pulleys, and the seals. Uh, remember there's two different kinds. One's with the pinion, one's without. You only have one with the pinion, in the machine and two without. Make sure you get the right ones. Another thing to keep in stock are the grinding head repair kits. We have a complete repair kit. You can buy the parts individually, but it's so much easier just to get the kit. It has all the hardware in it and you don't have to be looking for hardware. One of the things you have to be careful when you tear your grinding heads off of there, you have to remember you have to get the bolts out or else you have to throw away the spindle. You can actually send them to a machine shop and try to get the bolts out if they're broken off in there. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. By the time you spend the money for a machine shop to grind those out, mill them out and tap them, you can probably be close to the price of a new spindle. So be sure and replace every bearing while you're, if you replace one bearing, replace them all. Don't forget to replace both belts, upper and lower, anytime you get into the head. Don't forget the main center bearing. We also have the housing because these often get wore out, get hit on the bottom, and they get out of shape. They kind of get out around. So be sure and replace the whole thing when you replace that bearing if the housing's bad. This has been Mechanic Dan for Runyon Surface Prep, and thank you very much. Mm -hmm.